Hey everyone, uh, welcome to part two. Today I'll be talking about the intern events that Microsoft has. That was more than half of the reason why I came to Microsoft because I knew that the internship wouldn't just be about work, but uh, I heard that they had a lot of really fun intern events. So let's get started. Um, first of all, I want to talk about their biggest event. They call it the signature event. Um, and it's basically their biggest event every year where Microsoft rents out this whole big area and holds a concert and usually a really famous artist performs. It's always at an undisclosed location. Basically, we're told where to get on the bus and then they only tell us where we're going when we're already on the bus. And uh, who's playing is always a surprise even to like the very end. It's pretty exciting because you don't know who's playing, you don't know where you're going, and all you know is that it's going to be great. So every year, uh, a group of intern detectives would take it upon themselves to figure out where this undisclosed location was and also who was playing. Uh, this year was no different. We had a Microsoft Facebook group and in one of the threads, someone actually guessed really early that we were going to the Boeing airfield and how they figured out was um, they just looked at the previous locations and the Boeing airfield happened to be I think the location four years ago, meaning that none of the interns would have been there yet. And then another intern called and was like, hey, was, is Microsoft going to be at that event? And they were like, yeah. So that was pretty cool. As for the artist, um, it was more of a mystery, but a lot of people looked at the they looked at performers that didn't perform on that day and at that time. Um, they also looked at who already attended the event, who already performed at the event before, who hadn't yet, and who was in the area. So it was rumored that it was going to either be the Chainsmokers, Maroon 5, Bruno Mars, or Linkin Park, um, and a lot of other artists too. Personally, I was rooting for Bruno Mars, but I really couldn't complain about the Chainsmokers because they were really, really good. So like I said, this year's signature event was at Boeing Airfield. Over there we went on their factory tour where we could see how they made the big gigantic commercial airplanes. Um, There's a museum where we could look at sciencey stuff and also the history of airplanes. Uh, and there was a ton of free food. When I'm saying a ton, it's like it was like a carnival, a fair, and then there was just like smoked salmon, fish and chips, I think tacos too, uh, corn, just everything. And then there was a stage with a DJ playing and then on the screen there was a countdown. And then fortunately when the countdown started I was near the stage so as it was nearing the one minute mark my friends and I quickly went over there and then the main event happened. There was basically two performers. The first one was Dea and the second one was the Chainsmokers. And actually, um, De no one knew who Dea was, but she was actually the main singer in Ch the Chainsmokers song, Don't Let Me Down. Then the Chainsmokers came out. Uh, they were super cool. The music was super hype. And then the stuff on the screen was just like, what the fuck? You know, like dancing cereal bowls, just like this really weird looking guy. Uh, I, basically what I'd imagine I'd see if I was like tripping on acid or something. So yeah, then they finished and there were fireworks everywhere and then it was time for our intern gift. So this year they decided to give us each an Xbox S. So personally I already have a PS4 Pro so I didn't really know what to do with my Xbox One S. Um, but in the end I found some really good exclusives so I ended up just, just using it. and. It's actually right over there. Uh, yeah, so that was the Intenture event. Just basically this whole big event where they ran out this huge space, they have a concert, they gave us a gift, and just lots of interns everywhere. It was a great time. It's definitely something I'll remember for years to come. All right, so the next intern event I want to talk about is Microsoft's Puzzle Day. Like the signature event, every year there's a Puzzle Day and every year there's a different theme. Uh, this year's theme was space, and I'm actually wearing the Puzzle Day, uh, the Puzzle Day shirt right now. Um, yeah, so if you're into puzzles, if you've been to like Google's Google Games, it's similar, um, except it's like all puzzles, and it's just a really, really fun time. How it works is you choose your team. Teams can be from eight 
last 12 people and then you reserve a building or not a building but you reserve like a meeting room so that's like your station you first check in they do this whole big presentation basically this dude in astronaut suit tells us that we want to go to mars and we need to build a rocket ship and how we find these rocket parts is by solving puzzles so when we check in they hand team leaders a packet and basically inside the packet is two copies of puzzles for the team to work on then we after orientation we go to our buildings we go to our meeting rooms we open the packets we start doing the puzzles and it's just like this really fun full day collaborative event so aside from the puzzles and the packets there are also event based puzzles where at a certain time we go to a certain location and we do like a team puzzle where we work with members from other teams um, the one I went to was like an escape room type of thing but they also had uh, something like robotics and games it, basically every event is different but they're all like really fun obviously free foods provided so they had a uh, pizza and Microsoft already provides free drinks so they didn't have to provide that after solving our puzzles at the end of the day we all met back at the meeting room and they went over the results they went over the puzzles and they announced the winners apparently Microsoft has some like really hardcore teams where to get on that puzzle solving team you actually have to go through an interview you know so there are definitely two ways to go about it you can either go have fun or you can also go to these events to like try to win and uh, this year's team was really insane so Congrats to them, I guess. <laughs> yeah, so that's Puzzle Day. Um, if you're interning, if you're going to be interning at Microsoft, I definitely encourage you not to miss out on Puzzle Day. Uh, personally, it was the intern event I enjoyed the most, and um, yeah, it's just a lot of fun. If you enjoy puzzles, why why wouldn't you go? All right, so the third intern event I want to talk about is the Rainier hike. So we went to Mount Rainier, and although this isn't really like a Microsoft thing, like Microsoft doesn't own Mount Rainier, uh, it was still pretty cool of them to provide the buses there and the buses back, and also provide lunch, you know. And just holding an event where everyone could get together it was already pretty awesome. So basically there are two tracks that you can take with the Mount Rainier hike. One's an easier path and one's a harder harder path. It was actually not that hard but we chose a harder path. So we got there around 7 or 8 a.m. and it took us four hours to bus there and then four hours to bus back. So it was a pretty long bus ride. Um, it was around summertime so most of the snow melted and there were like flowers and insects and grass and everything yet there was still some snow so I think summertime is a really good time to hike at Mount Rainier. You guys can go at your own pace. Some people go faster right? Some people go slower. For us we took a lot of photos like we took a lot of photo breaks so we actually didn't get to go to the very top while other teams they didn't really take any breaks and they just trekked through you know so to each their own just make sure you get back to the bus in time so yeah i guess i'll put up some pictures i'll put up some videos and you can see for yourself it's pretty self-explanatory it's just it's just a hike it's beautiful um there are plenty of hikes in seattle just that this is a natural microsoft event so another really cool Microsoft event, this isn't just an intern event, but it's like a whole Microsoft event, was their one week hackathon. Basically it's a whole week and um, they set up these big tents, like huge tents. There's free food, you find a table, you set up with your team. If you're 21 or over, they have beer. They have Microsoft specific categories that you can put your project under and try to win in that category. And basically it's just a whole week where Microsoft employees can step away from the work and try to hack something together. And really try to make a breakthrough or innovate and try to make something new. So the first three days is the actual hackathon. Then the fourth day they have like a science fair and then um, they also have other events as well. And then for us interns, we also got to attend an uh, intern Q&A with our CEO, Satya Nadella. We call him Satya Nutella, but that's a different story. And actually, um, Satya was 
going through the hackathon and just checking out the projects and he actually visited my friend's table and my friend actually got to talk about her project. So yeah, we had an intern Q&A with uh, our CEO and there was a wide range of questions. Um, all the interns were there. It went from serious topics like the presence of minorities in the internship program and in full time to how, how GIF was pronounced. GIF or GIF? He went with GIF. Um, so the Microsoft One Week Hackathon was pretty fun. It was a really exciting event and it was a good break from my day-to-day -day work. The next event I want to talk about is another one of my personal favorites and to be honest this is more of like a brag because <laughs> um, yeah if you're not like if you're not an Outlook Yammer group then you probably won't be able to do this because this was like specific to my group but basically my manager's manager um, if you just watched the last video it was basically the last guy that interviewed me he actually has a boat so um, every year he would take his interns on a boat ride and it was my first time on a boat and he let me drive it it was just super awesome you know so yeah we boated around lake washington we got to see some really cool houses uh we chilled by bellevue and just drank beer and ate chips watched the sunset as we went by the lakeside houses he told us about who owned those houses and some, some of the histories behind some of the houses he'd be like oh do you know have you heard about that startup or have you heard about that company well uh, the ceo of that company owns that house uh so including like steve balmer and bill gates bill gates's house is massive and it's just like hidden behind all these trees it's pretty it's pretty cool um after that trip i sort of wanted a better lifestyle I was like, dang, it'd be really cool to have one of those houses, you know, or to own a boat and just boat around. But yeah, uh, it was like really fun. Um, maybe if you join Microsoft and you happen to be in the Outlook Yammer group, uh, ask for us to take you on a boat ride. So first of all, I'm going to talk about the smaller intern events that you have to sign up for. So the first intern event I want to talk about is the boat party. Um, this year there were actually five boat parties, but I only went to the last one. Um, every boat party is themed differently except the first and the last, which were both formal. There was like Hawaiian themed and I don't, I don't know the rest. So we all went on this boat and then we went around Lake Washington again, except this time it was like totally dark and um, yeah, it was just a really chill time. There was a dance floor, there was, there was a DJ, there were very expensive drinks. And yeah, if that sounds like your thing, then uh, definitely check out the boat party. Besides the boat party, there's also a warehouse party that you have to sign up for, and I think it was also $25. Then they have free tickets to uh, the Seattle Sounders soccer games and Seattle Seahawks football games. I haven't been to one, but they're free, so why not? If you're into soccer and football or you just want to check it out, then go for it. Um, another free intern event that you have to sign up for are the cooking classes. Uh, I don't know, I don't know how frequent they are, but uh, every time I try to sign up, I couldn't get in. But yeah, they sound fun. So if you're able to see the email in time and sign up in time, um, they should be fun. Then Microsoft also has this concept called the ISC group, the Intern Social Club. Basically, it's voluntary. Um, you can choose to be part of ISC, where they put you into a group of other interns that are starting the same day. And you can choose the type of ISC group that you want. You can choose to have a really chill group, a really fun group, a really adventurous group. And then you'll be grouped accordingly and go to custom intern events with your group. So uh, my group went on hikes, we went to the parks. Another ISC group went skydiving. Of course it wasn't an official ISC group because skydiving is dangerous, but uh, yeah, skydiving was intense. I think the other thing I forgot to mention was that they also have board game nights. I think they're usually maybe once a month or once every three weeks and there's free food outside and then you go into this ballroom and there's just tables with almost any, every any 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 board game you can think of it's probably there uh definitely lots of sellers of Catans. like i think every table had a box of sellers of Catan. 
So yeah, as you can probably tell, as a Microsoft intern, you'll never get bored. There's always something going on every weekend, and even if there isn't, Microsoft interns are very adventurous and very outgoing. So if there isn't an official Microsoft event going on, your friends will probably plan something. To add to that, the Redmond area and the Seattle area have a lot going on. Seattle in particular has a lot to see right in the city. But besides that, around the area there are also a lot of um, hiking trails, there's the, the lake, um, there's karaoke, which I like, so if you're into karaoke, there's karaoke. Uh, and there are also a lot of other companies. Basically, you can also tag along with your friends who are interning at other companies. And other companies would also hold intern events. There was like a big scavenger hunt uh, held by Axon, which is a company in Seattle. And there would also be recruiting events where um, other companies would invite Seattle area interns to uh, join the event. But yeah, I'm really grateful and thankful that Microsoft put the time, the effort, and the investment in us to give us such a wonderful intern experience. So thank you, Microsoft. So yeah, that wraps it up for this video. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.